Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one we're going to be upgrading the OnePlus 6 phone uh, to Android 14. So that's pretty cool that they're still supporting it. Um, so yeah we're going to be doing that today. Uh, so I'm on the official upgrade lineage OS instructions here uh, so yeah we are gonna need a install package um, let's see yeah so this is the builds for one plus six um, yeah I suppose we'll do nightly uh, why not <laughs> so yeah these are the two kind of new versions and let's see what we actually need okay such so as Google Apps version now okay let's see what they recommend uh, so mind the gaps okay so get the arm 64 version because this CPU is 64 bits Uh, yeah, the 412 megabytes looks good. We'll save it here. Um, yeah, I'll probably create a new folder here in the site downloads for OnePlus 6. Like so, save it there. All right, we'll also need Magisk because I'm using that. Um, Let's grab the latest version here. Yeah, 27 looks fine. Save that into the OnePlus as well. We should be able to flash that directly, so that's fine. Okay. Right, so we downloaded that. All right, we downloaded this as well. So let's continue on with the guide. Now, enable USB debugging on the device so we should have that enabled uh, let me go into settings here about or where is it system maybe yeah there we go developer options and usb debugging is enabled we can also use root debugging which is pretty cool but that's not really needed if you're using magisk <laughs> so yeah all right Okay, don't turn that off. So connect the PC here. All right, so we need to reboot into the bootloader. And then, so we just need the this zip here. <coughs> Jesus, I don't think we need any of these. Um, so yeah, that should be fine. Let's download this. It's a gig. Yeah, let's download it in here. And while that is downloading slowly. Okay, three minutes. Uh, oh, there we go, it's speeding up a little bit. All right, well, fuck it, we'll leave it at that. So, let's fire up a terminal. Uh, yeah, I suppose I'll just keep the terminal here. Um, so let's go into downloads. Let me actually make this bigger. Yeah, so you guys can see it nicely. There we go. Alright, so yeah, that looks pretty good. So, CD. Downloads. Jesus. And then we want to go into OnePlus 6. And we have all the good stuff here, so... What we want to do is want to check if everything's working okay. So, ADB devices. This is probably asking for this thing, yes. Yeah, so always allow and press allow. Then run it again. And there we go. We have the device just fine. So, next thing is we want to do a reboot. Where is this? 
yeah, well, I'm not using that old of a lineage. So yeah, we just need to do this one. So right now I'm on, uh, I'll, I'll just show you guys what I'm on right now. Uh, settings, about phone, I think it's here. Yeah, so right now we're on lineage 20 and just Android version 13 pretty much. So yeah, we just need to follow this instruction here. So that should reboot us into sideload mode. probably <laughs> oh yeah there we go there's some activity going on and this thing still hasn't downloaded 30 seconds left okay good so now we're in side load mode and we're in slot a cool so what are we looking for here all right so then uh right <laughs> okay interesting so now we just need to sideload the zip. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. Just need to wait. Okay, nice. So this thing just finished. Um, cool. So what we're going to do is... Oh, I'm not sure what this weird D thing is, but whatever. We'll uh, do do what it is and we are on the side load the lineage like so so now the side load is beginning which is good um it's where I find the update package i suppose it's gonna copy the whole thing first um and then it's gonna do some stuff So yeah, this also shouldn't wipe the phone, um, but you should always back up just in case. But yeah, overall, the installation is fairly straightforward. All right, sort of stuck at 47%. Um, but I guess we just wait. Because here it says... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but in some cases, even if the process succeeds, the output will stop at 47%. <laughs> Fail to read. And then, uh, which also is fine. Okay, so basically, if... Um, basically if it just doesn't burn it's fine it doesn't matter if it outputs any errors or not which is a bit weird but it is what it is and it isn't what it isn't let me zoom in here a little bit yeah there we go okay and that's it that's the whole upgrade um should I install any add-ons yeah so we'll flash google gaps after this click advanced reboot to recovery click apply update okay interesting you must install an updated version before the first boot of android okay if you did not have google apps installed you must wipe data so we don't need to do that because i do have uh, gaps installed. No add-ons are unsigned, and therefore when they are side loaded. Okay, that's fine. All right, so this is still going. Uh, I'm just gonna let it chill. <laughs> oh, there we go. So. It looks like it's done, but for some reason this thing is sort of stuck, which is weird. But anyway, to install additional packages, you must you need to reboot recovery first. Do you want to reboot recovery now? And yeah, we are going to click. Yeah, we're going to click. I forgot where the buttons are. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty handy, pretty cool recovery thingy. Um, 
So yeah, that's how it looks like anyway. So yeah, just use the volume keys to move down to S and then press the power button. So when it gets into recovery, what did they say? We click advanced. Reboot recovery, then when you're the device, click apply update. So we'll click down again, apply update, then apply update from ADB. Okay, so now we're back inside the same thing once again. So this time we are going to do mind the gaps. Okay. Install anyway. So yeah, it's a signature verification failed. So Press down to yes, and then press this thing, yes. And it's gonna, it's actually running the um, installer here. Uh, so you can see that it's doing shit. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's successful, even though it failed here. It be failed to read command, uh, but it, it again stuck at 47%. When it said install completed with status of zero, which means that's good because in um, Linux, if, um, well, in Windows as well, I'm pretty sure if a program exits with the status of zero, that means it exited successfully. If it was one or something, that means it failed. So we didn't fail. Uh, so yeah, anyway, next thing we're gonna go down again, press apply update again, press apply update from ADB. And now we are going to do the same thing. So ADB, B, side load. And then we're going to apply magisk like so. What happened there? So we have a uh, footer is wrong. Okay, well, some weird shit happened anyway. But if we press yes. <laughs> Install anyway. Let's see if the Magisk installer pops up, and it does. And yeah, it's patching the boot image just fine, just like how it normally does. So if this actually boots properly, this will be a very easy uh, procedure. <laughs> and yeah, there we go, it finished. Um, yeah, I guess we can just simply reboot the system now just by pressing the power button like so. And let's hope for the best. Let's hope that none of our data got deleted, but we'll see. Yeah, overall, I like this procedure. Very easy. Very easy indeed. Let's see, what kind of add-ons does Lineage have these days? Because I remember a while ago, uh, Lineage OS add-ons, they had like some weird stuff. Yeah, I guess it's here. Extras. Ah, I see, okay. Open weather provider, interesting, okay. So yeah, it's basically just root. <laughs> That's it. Well, we have, oh, look at this shit. That's new. What the fuck? I haven't seen this symbol before. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me actually make this thing bigger so you guys can see the cool symbol. It actually looks a little bit different in real life than it does in camera. These are actually empty circles. So it's just an outline of circles, but on camera, it looks like they're filled. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and show you guys a little bit better. Yeah, so see, that's how they look like. Then if I move them further away, they look like they're filled. 
Jesus, this camera is fucking bad. Yeah, they're very thin circles as well. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Ninja OS. Nice. So my wallpaper is still there. That's good. Uh, let me type in my password real quick. Okay, that wasn't real quick because my password is fairly long. But anyway, uh, finishing the system update here. And let's see if we're on the latest and greatest Android 14. Well, I wouldn't say greatest, but... <laughs> uh, crap. Yeah, we're on Android 14. Let's go with the security patch of uh, 5th of February, 2024, and the vendor <laughs> security patch of 1st of November, 2021. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I mean, it is an old phone, so it is sad. But it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is Android 14, let's go on, on an old ass phone. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, also check if this thing works, you know, the notification slider thingy. And yeah, works as expected. So silent, you can probably see it at the corner there. So silent, uh, vibrate. And then, you know, normal audio. So pretty cool. I wish, I wish all phones had this. I really do. Cause like the phone that I'm using right now just has three buttons and that's it. What can you do with three buttons, man? Nothing. You can't do anything. So yeah, it's nice having an extra kind of button here, you know? So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Pretty, pretty easy upgrade so yeah thank you boys for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye